Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure PostgreSQL 17 on Windows Server 2022. But the process is same on all Windows servers. First open any web browser. Then go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. See, on 26 September 2024 PostgreSQL 17 is released. And see here, PostgreSQL is the most popular advanced open source relational database. Click on download, then click on Windows, then click on download the installer. See here, we have the PostgreSQL version number 17.0, that is the latest version. So, click on this download button. No need to restart anything. Your download should begin in few seconds. Otherwise, you have to click on this click here. Here you will see the download. Go to downloads and verify. See, download has been started and its size is 371 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Open downloads folder. See here, we have the PostgreSQL 17.0 exe file. Right click on it, open or double click on it. Then click on next. See, this is the installation directory. If you want to change, click on this browse button and change the location. I am ok with the default location, then click on next. See. By default, it is going to install PostgreSQL, PG Admin, Stack Builder and Command Line Tools. I want to keep all the checkbox as it is and click on Next. See, this is the data directory location. If you want to change, again, click on Browse. Otherwise, click on Next. Now, provide the password for the PostgreSQL SOAP user, that is Postgres. Okay. So, provide the password. Then, click on Next. See, this is the default port for the PostgreSQL. If you want to change, you can change. But keep as it is and click on Next. Localized settings. Se select the local from the list. I am going with the default one. So, click on Next. See, this is the installation summary. If you are okay with all these settings, then click on Install. This confirmation, click on Install. See, installation has been started. See, installation has been completed. Now, uncheck this Stack Builder. We can install this Stack Builder later also. Then click on Next. Now, go to Start. Then see here, we have the folder PostgreSQL 17. If we expand, see here, we have the Stack Builder, PG Admin. PG Admin is a GUI tool, SQL cell, that is PSQL, to interact with PostgreSQL server. Okay. First, verify the PostgreSQL service. So, Windows Run. Then services dot msc. Hit enter. If you press P, see here we have the PostgreSQL service 17 and it is running. Okay. So now open PSQL. Go to the post PSQL shell. Then give the server post name is local post. So you enter for, for database Postgres, port same, username also Postgres, then provide the password of the of the Postgres that we have given. Hit enter. See we have connected to PostgreSQL server. But this is PostgreSQL client version. So let us verify the version of the PostgreSQL server. Select version. So see we have installed PostgreSQL 17. If you want to see the list of users, give the backslash du see we have only one user that is postgres still if you want to change the password of this postgres user use the command alter user postgres with password then provide the new password okay this is the way okay if you want to see list of databases comes with postgresql installation give the backslash help. the comments that starts with backslash are called as meta comments. See here we have these three databases comes with PostgreSQL installation. And this is the one and name and uh, these are the collation settings and other settings. Okay. So if 
you want to create a database, create database octoscores. Then put semicolon at the end. See, database is created. See, we have new database octoscores and postgres is the one on name. If you want to create user, create user James with password. Then provide new password. See, new user is created. Let us verify. See, new user James is created. Now we will switch to this new database and create a table. So to switch new, new database, we have to use the command backslash e, then provide the database. See, you are now connected to database after schools as user postgres. So create a table, create table student. One table is created, let us verify list of tables. See, I have one table that is created in schema public and one is postgres. So insert some data into this table. Insert into insert one more row. Insert one more row. This time I am not going to change the S number. It will throw error. See, duplicate key value while it's in key constant. Why? Because we have defined this S number column as primary key. So we can't give the duplicate values in this primary key column value columns. Okay. So give the unique value. Okay. See, we have successfully inserted. Let us verify data. See, these are the rows available. If you want only the particular column values, just give like. If you want only S name column, give like S name from student. Okay. If you want to find this configuration file location, just you show config underscore file. This will give the PostgreSQL server con configuration file location. See, PostgreSQL configuration file is there in this location and this is the file name. If you want to see the HBA conf file, you HBA underscore file. This is the HBA conf file. HBA means host based authentication. It contains access rules. Exit, press any key to exit. Until now we have connected with PSQL shell. Now we will see how to connect to connect to PostgreSQL server by using pgadmin. Hit enter, start. See here we have the pgadmin for. Click on it. Now click on add new server or right click on servers, then select register, then select server. Then provide the name. Name can be anything. Then go to connection tab. See here you have to provide hostname or address. Hostname means local host because PostgreSQL is installed on this PC. If it is installed on some other server, then you have to provide hostname of that PC or that machine or IP address. Then port number 543 maintenance database Postgres. So username Postgres. Then provide the password of this Postgres user. Can be anything. Not only Postgres, you can give the gems also. Click on save. See, we have successfully connected to PostgreSQL server. Expand it. Expand databases. See here, we have the tab database after schools. If you expand logins and group roles, see here, we have the group roles. If you want to create database, right click on databases, create, select, then database. Then provide the database name. R2 test. Click on save. Or if you want to provide other information like security, definition, parameters, and anything you can provide. Otherwise, click on save. See, new database is created. Okay. If you want to query the against any database, right click on database, then select the query tool. Then run the queries here. Select star from student because we have created a table in this database. Select the query and click on execute button. See, we got the same output. The same way, if you want to create a login, right click on it, then create select group. Login or group role, then provide auto admin. Then login, select, then click on save. Login, see it is there. Okay. If you want to restart the PostgreSQL service, go to services, then right click, select the stop restart or 
you can select these options or you can click on any of these buttons all are same okay so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure postgresql 17 on windows server for more postgresql tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you